hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to active or inactive drag and drop feature in the kanban view in case you missed previous discussion about how to add image in the kanban view please check link is given in description and if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the weblands channel here you can go to playlist and here in the playlist you can see this odoo development playlist available here you can see different topics also available with different test cases and this is the main playlist of the odoo right now we are working in version 14 and if you need any help or support you can go to in about page and you can send your query to this email address plus you can also support this channel using paypal and coffee.com plus you can also support using this join button let's back to our main topic like how to active or deactive drag and drop feature in the kanban view so let's say in our last session we already discussed like how to add such images right and now like first thing is we need to understand the drag and drop feature here so by default it won't be possible without using a stat field here stat field means this one if you see here this stat field here you can see so this is the stat field and here like we have to display first available status here and then after like we can move to different stat one stat to another stat or using drag and drop feature so here we will use this simple this group by functionality and here we will select the stat and we click to apply that's it now you can see there are four different stages available here like done draft paid and progress don't worry about the sequence i already explained in status bar discussion like how you can rearrange statuses in the front end side so you can check that one so here we will see like how to use drag and drop feature here in the screen you can see one more stat also available by default it's a false false means like uh, these records don't have the status update by means like state is none none state called as a false here so let's say for this ramu student i have to drag and drop here in the draft stat so simply you can do like this way using this group by option the this is the first thing here all right and let's say i am trying to refresh the page or like let's say i am going to in contacts and i move to the student profile here now you can see i i can't see that drag and drop feature here right because i have to always select the stat field like this now i can drag and drop this feature like the progress bar here and like chanakya as a down stat like this right so user can do like this drag and drop feature by default like this way but let me do one more thing like once i will click to this student profile by default it will group by with the stat field so how can i do let's say but i will not explain much in the windows action right now for the group by option because i already explained in the search view discussion how to group by specific fields here so right now we will use the context oh sorry the wrong one the views views.xml let me extend all all right and let me first find out the windows accent okay so this is the windows accent right now and simply we have to pass here the context what is context how to use this context i will explain in the context section only because this is very interesting topic for all the odoo developers so here like in this context like we have to pass this dictionary in this dictionary we have to pass like group by as a fixed key and here like state field that's it now i'm trying to upgrade the module all right 
might be you confused here if you see here in the configuration file already mentioned the database name plus a module name using minus u u means the upgrade if you don't know like how to configure this functionality you can check editor level discussion i already explained in detail so let me go to here in the front end side and trying to refresh the patch so now you can see we don't need to always go to here and click to apply button right so now like once i will refresh the page or let's say i'm going to contacts or let's say i'm going to in another view and then after i'm going to in student profile you can see by default it's a display group by stat field here so like this way you can use this context here all right now let's say the Sita Raman I have to display in the page state or let's say this Ramu Chacha I need to display in the draft state. So basically what happened in the backend side is like in the backend side it, it's called the write method of the student profile with the respective record set and it's just update the respective state. Like let's say this APJ Abdul Kalam you can see here it's in false state right. Let's say I want to add here in the done stat then simply i will do like this so backend side it's update this record with the done stat and if i open the form view you can see it's updated as a done stat let's say if i go i'm going to here in the sunny leone you can see here there is no any stat selected right now so by default it's a false you can see here all right so now you can simply drag and uh, drop one state to another state. Now let's say one more thing is in the in the one in one more scenario is let's say if you want to stop this drag and drop functionality, then what you you what you will do? So simply like Odoo provides one attribute in Kanban level. First let let's we discuss that one. Then after we will move in another way. Let's say this Kanban. All right. So here simply we have to use one more attribute that calls records underscore draggable and here like you have to mention as a zero by default drag and drop functionality by default it's active for the Kanban view it means like the value is always one if you don't mention this one let's say if you are using like this it means by default drag and drop functionality is available but yes the stat field should be available in the in your respective model otherwise it won't be work all right so let's say i'm just using this attribute to disable so simply what i will do like i will replace one to zero zero means false or true means one so you have to remember this one also like then after I, i'm just trying to sell then after stop and then after upgrade this module all right and i'm going to in front end side and refresh the patch so let's say i'm trying to drag and drop this babita to here in the draft state or let's say this weblens or do to here in the left hand side it's not update like this so you can see it's not working right so like this way you can deactivate this drag and drop functionality in the kanban view let's say uh, one more thing is let's say you you don't know about this one and let's say i'm just trying to add here the stat field before the templates right now i'm not printing this stat in the kanban view stop the service plus upgrade the module and if i'm going to here in the front end side and refresh the patch you can see i can drag I, I'm, I'm able to drag and drop the records here all right and once i will refresh the patch you can see all four stats available now like let's say still you want to stop i mean the deactive the drag and drop feature then simply like you have to mention like read only equal to one 
and upgrade the module. I'm trying to refresh the page and like let's say I'm trying to right hand side you can see my cursor but you see the record is not moving in left hand side like let's say I just drag and drop in the left hand side it's not moving you can see here it's re-sequence in the draft stat only but it's not a movable in another stat so like this way you can do like this way also if you if you don't know about this if if you don't want to use this attribute here let me add here some command for your reference purpose also this module also available in the github for your reference purpose you can also clone this branch and also you can use this code as a reference purpose also like uh, in odoo apps also our tutorial related modules also available so you can also check out and trying to download at least it would be very helpful for me and let's say to stop drag and drop feature all right so again i'm going to in front end side and you can see refresh the patch you you're not able to drag and drop one state to another state so i hope you understood like how to active or like how to deactive drag and drop feature in the kanban view in case you have any doubt related this discussion please comment below and see you in next session